I've always been a people person and photographing people has kind of been my passion. In the early days, I always was doing headshots for actors and friends of actors. And slowly but surely, it kind of snowballed. One of the things I've always enjoyed is doing portraiture. And for my work, and I think the body of work that most people will remember me for, it's really tight portraiture. I've always shot with really long lenses, never been a wide angle guy. And uh, I found for me that's, that's what connects with what I like to do. Andy Warhol's image certainly is one of my favorite images, probably because it's one of my most iconic images. Jaiman was an interesting subject, quite a beautiful specimen of a human being. We put a mud mask on him and let it crack. And I mean, you can see just the most perfect teeth, the most amazing face, and for a handsome guy, kind of an extreme picture. High key lighting is when you have a very strong relationship between your highlights and your shadows. For me, I use very strong keys, often situated fairly high. I think it makes them a sexier picture. Leonardo DiCaprio probably was one of the greatest people that I ever had a chance to work with. Now that was a very early uh, shot, shot on film, late afternoon light on the roof of uh, my daylight studio. But the light was pretty bright in his eyes, but I think it's a very sexy picture of Leo. I think the light's sculpting his face really well and I think he's very focused. The eyes are really the telling part of a portrait. They're the most important part, I think, because you can read a picture instantly. I like the person to be front stage and center. I tend to like to shoot my subjects in dark clothes, very minimal backgrounds. I want the picture to frame up this, because this is really where I'm at at the end of the day. It wasn't until I started moving that light off the center focus of the camera, taking a little bit more to the side, playing more off highlights and shadows, creating imagery that maybe didn't answer all the questions but left something to the imagination, leaving you wanting to know more. That's how I would describe uh, my style.